fucked up. Let's see where it pops us out, shall we? We've got this cave here. Oh, I mean, that's how tight a squeeze that is. What's up, guys? We've come to Paul's Grove today, and we are going to take you on a little adventure. We've got an uh, old World War II radio tunnel, which goes all through this chalk. I'm not going to babble on too much. I'm going to show you the images, cue the music, and let it speak for itself. During World War II, a secure underground radio station was installed in the tunnels what were excavated in the face of the Pools Grove Chalk Quarry, also known as the Pools Grove Chalk Cliffs. It was a short distance from Fort Southwick and was linked to the underground tunnels underneath the fort. We're just on the edge of this big chalk cliff face. Let's see, it goes right up. That's making his route up that way. Okay. Are you right for me to start? Or? Yeah. I'm going to go through this route. I took that route. This route. The big stepping stone route. A couple more steps. And look at this. This is one of the entrances to one out of the two tunnels built in this cliff face. Now let's get inside and show you all around the inside of these old World War II radio tunnels. If you're interested, if you're any explorers, if you're interested, you need any sort of lighting or torches or anything like that for exploring, we've got some awesome torches. The link's in the description to the website. It's www.ladsmanor.com. Go check them out. We've got all types of stuff, all the gear you need for exploring. Link's in the description. Let's get on with it. Now as you can see guys, as you enter this tunnel, just to the left you have a small chamber here which is lined in corrugated metal sheeting. Now this radio tunnel here actually has three chamber sections so I'm expecting to see more of this corrugated metal sheeting throughout this tunnel. Check this cave out guys, this is cool. It's lovely and cool in here, can you feel the breeze? The breeze coming through. This first tunnel runs 80 feet deep into the chalk face. It's five foot wide by six foot high and turns at a 90 degree bend to the right. Here is a map diagram showing you the layout of tunnels from the upper levels to the lower levels and each chamber what's in this section of cutout in the chalk cave. Here is a look around inside the upper level chamber. Again, you will notice how each chamber is completely lined in this corrugated metal sheeting. This chamber measures 8 foot wide by 8 foot high by 17 foot in length. Now let's make our way down the stairwell. The stairwell consists of 10 steps and drops you down another 7 foot deeper. As you can see in this lower chamber the corrugated metal sheeting half of it has actually come down. Now this chamber is still 8 feet wide by 42 feet long and by 10 foot high where we've come down an extra couple of feet. In this chiselled out section there is a 6 inch borehole in the ceiling which runs right the way up to the surface. Now back in World War II this site is where messages bound for France would actually pass through this radio station via the aerials installed almost a hundred foot up on the surface which is why they would have had these large boreholes running right the way up. Probably the most fascinating fact about this small unassuming radio station is that the first signals to come from the Normandy beaches delivering the messages of success would have been received here. So guys, we've just come out of the tunnel here, we we're at the second entrance, and as you can see it's very low down this one, still hidden by all this gorse, all the way round, completely on the cliff face. Now you might have seen, as I poked my head out, the chalk coming down, so you've got to be so careful, because the chalk is so crumbly. 
and let's make our way back and show you inside the second radio bunker what is in this chalk face. So guys we found our way around after all of that me coming back down we found this way up here Pat's just going to try and climb his way up No. I've got a rough idea how I want to do it. I think I'm going to leave my bag here when I climb up. It's proper dodgy, Yeah, it is dodgy, mate. It was dodgy as hell that bit I've just done up there. Proper sketch. Are you going in or are you coming down? I think I'm going to come back down. Denied. You've had it easy here, mate. I'm stuck. You suck. Well, that's it then. <laughs> You're moving in to Paul's Grove Chalk Cliffs by the looks of things. I'm literally stuck. Put your hand in the lower one. There you go. And lower, 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 lower. There. Sorted. £26 pound an hour it is, climbing lessons. One eternity later. There you go. So I made it in there, guys. Hey, give Pat a thumbs up. <laughs> so I'm going to get up here and see what's in here for you guys. Bear with us on the camera skills at the moment because if I am climbing. One eternity later. Pat, can you see me? Over here. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going back in. There's just literally a little room in here. So guys, now, I've got to get through this little hole. Jeez. I don't know if you can see behind me, that's how tight a squeeze that is. Get down and dirty. Now I've got to make my way back down this vicious thing. Right, you ready? I'm going to come down. So guys, that is the end of the radio tunnels in the Pools Grove chalk cliffs. I'm absolutely done in after that, trying to climb down that, that's absolute killer. Be so careful, if anyone comes up here, if one thing climbing up, but getting down is a whole different story. So just bear that in mind, guys. But we're now gonna make our way off, up on top of the hill now, to one of the largest gun turrets on Portsdown Hill. And it's all thick woodland, all abandoned. So we'll see you when we're there, guys. Smash them like buttons. Yes, yeah, smash them likes for that. That was absolute killer. Funny, but a killer. That's got to be worth a sub, isn't it, Pat? Oh, definitely. Sweet, guys. See you shortly. <laughs> <laughs>